last one. We have thin sliced bacon going into our pre-greased rectangular pan. Brown sugar. Putting in one, two, three scoops. And just give it a nice little spread to the bottom of the bacon. Ketchup. Just gonna give it a nice little layer there. That's delightful. A little bit of paprika. Right in there. Mm. Great flavors. Delightful. So we have two pounds of ground beef here. I'm using a lean ground beef. That's what we prefer in our family, but you can use whatever type of ground beef you want, or you can even use a fork. Half of a large chopped onion. I'm using a sweet onion. You can use whatever onion you'd like, or even red onion if you feel adventurous. Sweet onion is so good. Mm -hmm. We have one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Has such great flavor to it. Mm-hmm. So Smells good. so good too. Yeah, so good with that beef. Garlic powder. Pepper. Green pepper. And we're using half of a cup of oats. What? Yeah, some people use breadcrumbs. You could totally use breadcrumbs. I just really prefer the oats. I like the crunch of the oats. That's so cool. Yeah, it just has like a little bit more of a like a grounded sort of earthy flavor to mm, me. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And a little bit of onion powder as well. This really ties in those flavors with the onion. And we're just gonna give this a good mix. Get all that ground beef saturated with our onion and our seasonings and the green pepper. Wow. Yum. I'm placing our beef into our pan with our bacon. Wow, this is great. It really is, wow. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna give this a really good press so we get our shape. We want our rectangular shape really good into this pan. And then we just take our bacon and we fold it right over. Oh, I love that. Perfect. Wow, that's perfect. It is. And we don't want just a meatloaf for dinner. So we're gonna add in some potatoes. These are just the golden potatoes. Oh, great idea. Yeah, we're just gonna sprinkle them on one half. We're actually saving this other half for something else. There we are. I love this. And we want those potatoes to really cook up nicely. So we're gonna add in a little bit of our olive oil. Perfect. And we'll season those with a little bit of our pepper and a little bit of garlic because yeah. it just gets complemented very well. Right? Agreed. Okay, so we're gonna let this go into the oven. Our oven is set at 350 degrees. Okay, so we are about halfway through the cooking process. Wow, this is looking great. Whoa, look at that sizzling. Mm -hmm. We're gonna just top with a little bit of brown sugar we want that top to be beautifully glazed. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. And a little bit of our ketchup is gonna go on there. Beautiful. This looks so good. Love a good meatloaf. Mm-hmm. We have a whole empty side right here. So we're actually gonna fill it with our broccoli. Ah, get mm -hmm. our veggies in. Get those veggies in. This is a one pan dinner. Love it. Yummy. So convenient. So just fill any crevices left with big broccolis. Get those veggies in. Make sure everyone's healthy in your family. 
Okay, we're gonna let this cook for a few more minutes. Great. Okay, so this was in the oven for about 30 minutes and then that's when we opened it, added the broccoli and the extra glaze, and then we did another 30 minutes. So it's one hour total. Yes. Wow, this looks amazing. Oh, so juicy. It's juicy and it's cooked perfectly. Yum, and the bacon. So good. Wow. Ooh. That is perfect. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. That's really good. So good.